an explosion and wave of shrapnel hitting everything. Welcome back everybody to some more Besiege. So with the new update they introduced Steam Workshop to the game which is freaking huge because you don't need to go to any shady ass sites, download some shady ass files and import them into folders anymore. You can just subscribe to things on the Steam Workshop and they're totally yours to play with. So I found a few of them that intrigued me. We might download a few more as well but these ones look pretty damn cool. Uh, so yeah, I thought it'd be fun to check these out, see what the differences are compared from this stuff to where I get my, my old stuff, um, a lot of the stuff that you've seen in the last, what, 30 episodes of Besiege. So yeah, we're gonna start out with the 1903 Wright Flyer. Now, I think I've seen this one before. It is a very basic design, as you can see. I'm not saying that in a bad manner, I do like basic designs, but it is a Wright Flyer, and rightfully so, it should be basic. Um, I don't remember how hard it is to control, I don't even know if I showed it, oh, oh, okay. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> <laughs> the right flyer is harder than I expected to fly. Um, you can... Okay, there we go. We we are getting it, and it is working, but god damn it, Besiege, fix your freaking cameras. Because flying in this game... Whoa, we, we, we've just stalled a right flyer. I'm gonna get this as the last thing I do, damn it. I mean, it should not be that hard to fly a right flyer. This thing has the weirdest turning as a plane ever. You turn seriously that way, and this is freaking fast. Like, I've, I've flown a few planes now, and... I don't think I've flown anything near this fast. Look how, I mean, as a right flyer, it should not be going like 200 miles an hour around the map. But after you get used to it, it is easy to control. It's a, a really cool little design here and a fun little flyer. Oh, can we do the loop? Can we do the loop? That was kind of a half-assed loop, but we did it, I think. Oh, God, almost hit the ground. Whew, I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty good at flying, damn it. So yeah, this is one of the top downloaded right now on uh, the Steam Workshop. I don't know what to think about the Steam Workshop just yet. There's some questionable designs on the top right now, and I don't know how well the ranking system works. So I don't know if I'll be using it personally, but I thought I would showcase some of the designs on here there that are the most popular ones right now. This being, of course, one of them. Keeping with the flying design, we have a very awesome looking quadcopter. Look at that design, that is beautiful. Um, I'm not very good at this, so we're going to try to control this friggin' thing, but um, actually it's not that bad. Quadcopters are, compared to something like a helicopter, relatively easy to stabilize because obviously there's four blades, it's a little more um, stable. And that is really awesome. I'm not touching anything right now, and it totally hovers. There's not many things that can do that in Besiege, so props to that. But of course, we can give it some power and try and do some flying here. No promises on me not killing myself. Um, yeah, as you can see... <laughs> Never let me pilot a quadcopter in real life, because I would just kill it. I don't know why in this game flying is so confusing to me. I'm, I think I'm just too pushy with it. Like, I don't have any problems flying in most games. Uh, Arma, I'm a pretty good flyer. Battlefield, now that being said, they're pretty easy to fly there. Um, I've never actually played a flying simulator, so I can't really say much besides that. Okay, let's ha try and head back here. Um, again, I'm using inverted controls right now because I'm going backwards, so it does get confusing. Um, and that's probably why I'm screwing up so much. Honestly, though, a very awesome quadcopter design. Uh, you can turn it, you, you can do pitch, yaw, left, right, up, down. All, all, all the directions that you would normally be able to do with a quadcopter. Next on the list, we have a bomb. This is, well, that's a big-ass bomb, I'll tell you that much. And those spikes are horrifying. So we're going to slow down time drastically, because I'm assuming this is going to lag me. We'll do 4%. Bombs in slow motion are awesome anyway, so even at 4%, it's going to be badass. Okay, here we go. Let's see how badly this thing is a bomb. Look at all the pieces. Oh my god. Let's see if there's anyone's dying. There's definitely death over here. Um, they are just getting slowly annihilated by piece after piece. This thing's starting to crumble. Everything is being hit. Oh my god, it's beautiful. The explosions in Besiege are some of the best explosions in any gaming that I've seen. Unfortunately, you got to run it at a ridiculous pace. We're going to slow down even a bit more. We're going at 1% right now, and it's beautiful to see. I mean, look at that. That is fucking awesome. I like how there's mini explosions around the map from the bombs as well being hit by things. It's just awesome. Totally freaking cool. 
Because these things are legal, I'm just curious, can we beat something like this with just a huge explosion? I imagine we definitely can. I'm gonna drop it down to, again, around... Let's do a... Uh, oh, it's really... T okay, 2% is fine with me. Uh, actually, maybe we'll go to 4. 4, four was actually, like, perfect, because it was fast enough to, like, kind of watch it. Okay, so here we go. I'm, I'm gonna bet that we'll be able to beat this just with this bomb. Um, I'm not certain, though. We're gonna find out. There we go. Look at that bar going up. <laughs> oh, are we gonna do it? It's gonna be close. Oh, come on, just a little bit more. Oh my god, it's so close. Where the hell are these guys that are surviving? Oh, there we go, we did it, and eh, there's still explosions. I'm gonna say that probably after all the shrapnel, everybody is gonna be dead on that map. You know you're gonna die after a while, assholes. Just accept it. Accept fate. There goes one. He died by his buddy. Oh my god. His buddy was shrapnel. Oh my god, there's so much blood anywhere. Is this guy gonna get hit by this guy? Yes, he is, and he died by his buddy. Human shrapnel. That's fucking awesome. And is the final one gonna die by his buddy as well? I'm gonna have to say yes. This guy's gonna bitch slap him in the face in a second here. Or not. Come on. There we go. Yes. Oh, everyone's dead except for this guy. This guy is gonna live a very lonesome life. I'm also curious how much damage this can do to something like a castle. I don't even know if it will do damage to the castle. I don't know if these spikes can penetrate a rock. I know the drill can, but I haven't tried really anything else. So I'm curious to see that. Oh, we should definitely slow that down before we're doing that. Well, good thing it doesn't lag. Oh! Oh! We did it! I didn't see anything! <laughs> Okay, so clearly it works. I don't know why it exploded. I didn't hit anything, and there's nothing on this map that attacks anything, so that's kind of interesting. But we're going to slow it down and actually watch the destruction now, because there's nothing better than watching a bunch of destruction. So here we go, nice and slow. You can see the water's falling very slowly right now. And explosion and wave of shrapnel <laughs> everything. Oh, this is great. This is... I love bombs now. This is my new thing. Imagine being this guy and just being thrown this high up into the air and watching your whole kingdom crumbling before you. He's probably dead, but whatever. It's still hilarious to me. There, Yeah, there's pretty much nothing left. I mean, I mean, look at it. You can't even see it anymore because of all the smoke. And over here we got... Well, I don't know what happened there. We just got nothing over here. I'm curious what happens to the bomb at the end. Is there anything left? Probably, yeah, there looks like there's nothing there. Oh, there's the brick. Thank God. A brick in a black spot. That's really it. Awesome. Awesome bomb, that's very fun. I'm gonna keep that one just in case I ever want to use it for anything. I, I, I like how the maniac who built this added flamethrowers that automatically turn on as well as it explodes, so flaming balls go everywhere as well. Perfect idea, bud. And and I've been talking for a while, and there's still, like, people in the air. This this guy's this guy's been falling for, like, five minutes. Um, he, he must have went definitely really... Uh, I think he's still alive. This guy... <laughs> this guy's at the, the flight of his life. Goodbye, cruel world. It was nice knowing you. Please die. Please. There we go. Yes! Into a bloody mess. I don't, he he might have already been dead, I don't know. And here's something I thought I'd never see. This is actually a Da, da Vinci invention. It was a tank design that he made. Um, and as you can see, it's, a, it's quite drastically different from the tanks that we know today. But basically, he wanted guns all the way around it. It is kind of falling apart here. So let's shoot it off, shall we? And do some damage. I don't think it's going to kill anything, but that's a really cool design. Uh, and extremely difficult to make something like this because you basically have to glitch the game out. Wouldn't it be cool to see this on the battlefield, though? I kind of wish these went into production just to... Um, look at them in real life, because holy crap is this ever badass. And it definitely does a decent amount of damage. Now, reloading it, that would be a pain in the ass. But, uh, who the hell cares? You, you gotta fire power out your ass. <laughs> this next one I'm looking forward to, because, well, you'll see it in a second here when it gets time to load. I don't know how on earth I'm gonna load this thing, but it's still loading. There we go. Check that out. It's, it, it is seriously a wall of cannons, that's all it is. Alright, let's put it at about 10%. See if this thing can even load. Um, oh, man. I think we gotta drop <laughs> that poor thing. Oh, there we go. Actually, it did load quite well. Um, this <laughs> It's starting to fall apart before I even shoot it. It's seriously... I think it's falling over. Look, it's, it's definitely leaning. That that I might use that to my strategy, because I do want to aim down a bit. <laughs> the leaning tower of cannons. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's slowly falling. Oh, this is great. Okay, let's shoot it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this, oh shit, here it comes, 
that was seriously cool. And look at the recoil on this thing. It is pushed so far back already. Um, I wonder if we can speed it up a bit. There we go. And it's just falling apart. Oh man, I, I wish my computer was a bit better. It's just falling apart from the recoil. That was freaking awesome. And it's such a simple idea. It just takes a lot of time to build something like that, but still extremely fun. Oh my- Oh, I'm breaking it. I'm- It's breaking. Oh, oh, okay. Free build mode. Okay. What the hell? Come back. There we go. Okay, we're <laughs> putting it on the ground again. Anyways, fuck shotguns to kill birds. Let's just use this thing. I'm gonna get every fucking one of these things. You watch. I, I, I doubt I will, but it should be fun. Okay, we're gonna drop it to like 10%- or 8% sounds good to me. <laughs> I can't wait for this. There's gonna be birds dying everywhere. There's something wrong with me, I think. I, I don't know why I get excited about dead birds, but hey. Let's try it out here. <laughs> and... Start the death sequence. <laughs> no! Come back! I wanna watch! The Annihilation! Okay, that's gotta be at least half the birds. And the statue, of course, has been totally annihilated as well. <laughs> oh, something about destruction just makes me so happy. Look at the feathers everywhere from dead birds. I, I, I kinda wish they fell to the ground so I could count how many I killed, but... I mean, the pack is definitely a lot less now. Okay, this one intrigued me. This is Tank in a Box. It's seriously a tank in a box, so it's supposed to kind of transform into an actual tank. Let's see if that actually happens. I just want to kind of see inside beforehand, just to look at how tight it is in here. Um, there's a lot of things going on in here. I'm curious to see what this looks like. I, I can't even fathom what it's going to look like ba based on the box design. So let's test it out and see. Uh, okay. Oh, 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 I seem to have broken it. <laughs> let's try that again. I think we're supposed to stop at, like, here, maybe? Well, no, oh, shit, 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 okay. So, right about there, we, we, we got the suicidal chicken over there. Not really a tank, I gotta be honest, guys. <laughs> so this is, <laughs> this is basically a box with weapons. I wouldn't call it a tank. Now, it does have tank controls, so it has that going for it. And it does have a lot of firepower, more than most tanks. But still, I wouldn't call this thing a tank. Um, tanks generally have armor, treads, you know, I'm fucking cannon. This, this, this is just, this is just weapons on a box, guys. Die, bitches! I'm shooting everything because I don't know which button does which. <laughs> and I think we're spent. Well, that was pretty damn cool. And here's another horrifying design. I don't even know what's going on in here. We got a lava ball, a spinner, probably to blow up that, and then a few grenades everywhere. I'm gonna say that this one isn't gonna explode as much as the other one, but I think it has some scary-ass shrapnel, so it should be good. Let's watch it and see what happens. Oh, oh, okay, well, that... Maybe we gotta drop it even more. What the hell is going on? Oh god, that was, that, I was looking at that. Okay, I'm trying to figure out... I, I'm at 0% right now, and even when I hit play... I've had something that does this before as well. Um, when I hit play, it goes anyways for... A short amount of time. Now, there is a lot of destruction here. Let me actually move it. There we go. Uh, I guess we can enjoy it. I kind of miss the initial explosion, though, which kind of pisses me off. Um, oh, shit, we're close again. Okay, well, there's the ball. I mean, that's kind of important. I'm trying to get around, though. There. Okay. Um... <laughs> It's just total annihilation, just like the other one, except this one you can't watch, so unfortunately I prefer the other one more than this one. Why, why is this falling apart? I wanted to see what happened. Okay, everybody, that's it for another episode of Besiege Creations. This was using, of course, the Steam Workshops. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks once again for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey, this is just a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. If you want to see more, I've added playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or directly support me, all my social media and Patreon links are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.